Hey guys, I pray that y'all test the spirit by the spirit to know if this word is for you. So the Lord has given me a word about the promised land, guys. And he said in three days we will be going to the promised land. In three days we will be going to the promised land. Um, I've actually been reading this whole chapter of chapter one from the book of Joshua this entire month. Um, but the Lord told me he was going to take me to the land that I should go. And... Um, that land, he taken me to that land about 15 days ago, guys. And he took me to that land by faith. Um, some of you guys have been scouting out your land in the last 40 days. So the promised land, you have been scouting out the last 40 days or you've had in your heart to go scout out that land in the last 40 days. And God is actually asking us to move in faith in this season to get to the promised land that he's called us to. Uh, I'm going to be reading from Deuteronomy chapter 34 first. And then I'm going to carry on into Joshua. But I want you guys to get an understanding from the book of Deuteronomy 34. And it says, 34 verse 9. Now Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit, for Moses had laid his hands on him. So the children of Israel heeded him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. It says, but since there was not arisen in Israel a prophet like Moses whom the Lord knew face to face and all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt before Pharaoh before all his servants and in all his land and by all that mighty power and all the great terror which Moses performed in the sight of all of Israel guys so this is a conclusion of Moses' term in office. So Moses is a deliverer. Moses was a deliverer in the land of Egypt. And he got the people out of the land of Egypt. So once Moses delivered the people from Egypt, Joshua got the hands of uh, Moses laid on him. And he got wisdom and knowledge from the land of Egypt. Egypt, which was where Moses delivered the people from Egypt. So in the wilderness, Moses taught, Moses learned his lessons in the wilderness. And all the wisdom and knowledge that Moses got from the wilderness actually helped Joshua get to the promised land. Because Moses never seen the promised land. Because Moses was in the wilderness, Joshua received the promised land. So now, we're in the season of Joshua, where God has showed us the land. And over the last 40 days, you guys have seen the land, scoped out the land, and now you're going to be entering into your promised land. Most of you guys have packed your stuff because you're in the transition season. 11-11 or 1-11 is for transition. I know you guys have been saying those synchronicities a lot lately. Um, but... Guys, in the next three days, we will be in our promised land. If you haven't started packing your stuff, I advise you get packed and swiftly moved because... Um, God said we have to actually get out of the place that we, we're at and go to the promised land. He actually said a prophet has no honor in their own hometown. And uh, most of you guys' location, where you're located, is your hometown. If God has called you elsewhere, I advise you to go to where he's called you. Um, so I'm going to be reading from the book of Joshua, and we're going to be talking about Joshua's commission in chapter 1. And it says, After the death of the servant after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now there, therefore, arise, go over the Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am given to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. For the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of Hittites and the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For this people you shall divide as an inheritance to the land which I swore to your fathers to give to them. So the land that he swore to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The land that he swore to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So some of you guys are actually out of the territory that God has called you to. Um, for myself, um, me and my family actually moved here after Hurricane Katrina. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana originally. I've been living in Texas the last 15 years, and my family moved here out of fear. Um, my mother's household is the only one out of the four sisters that never moved back to New Orleans in the last 15 years. So since Katrina happened, because we were actually the only ones left in the land when that hurricane happened, we were in the Superdome. Because we were in the Superdome during that time frame, my mom decided that it was not going to be ever a case for us to move back. And because we were operating in a spirit of fear, we were ever never able to move back. So the Lord called me back to my hometown. Um, it's funny because God said a prophet has no honor in their own hometown. 
But ironically, I'm 26 years old. I was living in New Orleans until the age of 11, and I lived in Texas for the last 15 years, but I've lived in this town that I live in for the last 12 years. So technically, this is my own hometown, and a lot of things have happened in this town. Um, it's not my hometown on my birth certificate, but a lot of things for myself, I've done a lot of things um, in this town. I actually got baptized here. Um, I went to church here, and I did a lot of growing here. So this is technically my hometown, so now I have to go back to the promised land in which God had called to me and my family, the uh, land that he promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I'm going to say those are my ancestors. So just as he promised you guys your ancestors, your promised land is probably in a different location than you are right now. So I want to continue reading. And it says, be strong and of good courage. This is this is chapter one, verse six. Be strong and of good courage. For to this people y'all shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to your fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do accordingly to all that is written. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So me knowing just this this verse right here, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go, be good, courageous and strong and good courage. I was able to um, heed the voice of the Father 15 days ago whenever he instructed me to go to a land where he would show me. And when I went to that land where he showed me, um, it was grace, mercy, and no fear in that land. For the first time in my life, I felt no fear, no paranoia when I went to that land that he called me to, and which is technically home. So I got there and I felt that everything that God has been showing me resonated with me there. Um, I've had to counterfeit spiritual parents or spiritual leaders. I've had to counterfeit relationships. And I know that um, this is because the land that I'm in right now was just for training. It's just for the wilderness. So the land that he has shown me is for where he's taking me. And he says, the order to cross the Jordan. And here's the order, guys. The order and the instructions for you guys to know what it is God is calling us to do. He says... Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the camp and command the people, saying, Prepare provisions for yourselves, for within three days you will cross over the Jordan to go into the land and possess the land which the Lord your God has given you to possess. And to the Reubenites, the Gadonites, and half of the tribe of Manasseh, Joshua spoke, saying, Remember the Lord which Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is giving you rest and is giving you the land. Y'all, the Lord said he has given us rest and he has given us the land. In three days, the instruction is in three days, we will cross the Jordan and be in the promised land. In three days, guys, in three days time, it's almost here. So make sure you have your bags packed. Make sure you have your mindset right. Make sure you are, you are praising and worship and leaning into the voice of the Father right now in this moment because he has given divine instructions to your promised land. He has given divine instructions to your promised land. Y'all. It says, your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on the side of the Jordan. But y'all shall, you shall pass before your brethren's arm, all your mighty men of valor, and help them. And so the Lord has given your brethren rest as he has gave you. They also have taken possession of the land which the Lord your God has given you. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses, the Lord's servant, gave you on this side of the Jordan towards the sunrise. So the Lord said, until he has given the people, the people rest as he has given you. So until you go and do the mission that he sent you on, because most of us has been called to ministry. If we go and do the mission that God has commissioned us for, because Joshua was, was commissioned to do uh, a mission uh, such as Moses did, because Moses was a deliverer for the people. But he, now God has a mission for Joshua. The great commission is to go and do the job that the Lord of God has, our God has called us to do. And once we fulfill that mission, God is going to bring us to what he has called us to. And we'll be able to go back and enjoy what he's called us to enjoy. But right now in this season, guys, we're on a mission to fulfill the purpose that God has placed inside of us before the beginning of time, guys. So they answered Joshua saying, all that you commanded us, we will do. And whatever you send us, we will go 
Just as we heeded Moses in all things, so will we heed you. Only the Lord your God be with you. As he was with Moses, whoever rebels against your command and does not heed your words and all that you command him shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. Guys, how we take the promised land. So God has prepared us in the wilderness with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from him. And he wants us to meditate on his word day and night. And he said it should not depart from our mouths. So he wants us to go into the land, which is the promised land, which he commanded us to go to. Fulfill the great purpose. Um, and a great purpose is to be a missionary in the land that you're going to and just serve as unto the Lord. Listen to his divine instructions when you get there because he has things for us to do and he's actually given us more instructions. Um, and in the next passing days, he's given us divine instructions. His angels will come visit us um, tonight in your sleep or in the next couple of days in your sleep. He should be giving you divine instructions on top of the take your land, possess the land within the next three days. He's going to be giving us specific instructions on what it is he's called us to do in this time frame. But we have to be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Make sure you guys are leaning into the spirit. Make sure you guys are spending time in prayer and worship, guys. Even if you have to fast, you don't even necessarily have to fast from just food. If you have to fast, and turn off your phone if you have to fast and fast from social media just so you can hear clearly the instructions that the father is heeding to us in this hour guys do not miss the mark do not miss the high call from jesus christ because he is giving us divine instructions in this hour y'all I pray that you guys are well. I'm still praying over you guys in this ministry. Um, make your requests known, guys. Y'all, y'all, put your prayers in the description box. And I will be putting my email address in the description box as well. So you guys can email me for prayer requests. I pray that all is well. And I pray that you guys have happy packing, happy moving. And y'all be safe on the road. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.